In our discussion of the roster method, we learned that the set of real numbers cannot be expressed using the roster method because we cannot provide an exhaustive listing of the set of real numbers. Which brings us to a discussion of the set builder method. The set builder method is used to translate a verbal description of a set of elements into an algebraic description of how the set should be built. In other words, the characteristics of the elements that belong in the set, it does not provide an actual listing of the elements. As you can see, the fact that we do not provide an actual listing comes in very handy when we write sets of real numbers. We simply need to write out the characteristics or the attributes of the elements. So let's look at a few examples. The set of real numbers between negative 2 and 3. Just like in the roster method, to write out sets of elements using the set builder notation, we start out with opening a curly bracket. In the set builder notation, the variable x by default is a real number. So this set must include all numbers x such that, this slash indicates such that, such that x is a number between negative 2 and 3. Now some of you are familiar with writing a number lies between negative 2 and 3. We put negative 2 is less than x is less than 3. Now for those of you who are not familiar with writing a compound inequality like this, please practice the following. x needs to be a number between negative 2 and 3. So let's write out the numbers negative 2 and 3 and place x between them. And then let's think about what is the correct inequality between negative 2 and 3. Negative 2 of course is less than 3, so we put a less than sign here between the negative 2 and the x and a less than sign here between the x and the 3. So this is essentially what we have done here. Now, how do we write the set if we have the set of real numbers between negative 2 and 3 inclusive? Well, now our set needs to include the numbers negative 2 and 3. How are we going to do that? We are going to of course start with x such that now, let's see this. Unlike in the previous example where negative 2 had to be strictly less than x, this time x can be negative 2. So negative 2 can now be less than or equal to x, which in turn can be less than or equal to 3. So the fact that negative 2 and 3 are included translates into these inequalities that are not strict like here. We have less than or equal to, less than or equal to. Next example, how do we write the set of real numbers that are less than 4? x such that. There are two ways you can write this. The easier way of course would simply be to see, say x such that x is less than negative 4. If you want to continue this form of writing the set, then you may want to think about, well, if a number is less than negative 4, what is, how far to the left can I go? So I can go up to negative infinity. So you can also say x such that negative infinity is less than x, which in turn is less than negative 4. Please understand both ways of writing this because this form will be especially helpful when you draw the graph or write the set using interval notation. Next example, the set of real numbers that are less than or equal to 7. Now we have less than or equal to, so instead of simply saying x less than 7, we will of course say x such that x is less than or equal to 7. Next example, the set of real numbers that are greater than 2. And set of real numbers x such that they are greater than 2. Now you may pra want to practice writing it this way also. You can as well say if a number is greater than 2, then the number can lie between 2 and positive infinity. Okay. 
and since I did not write out the previous example that way, let me go back and do that now. We could have said x such that negative infinity is less than x which in turn is less than or equal to a positive 7. And now for our last example. The set of real numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 3. So x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 3. And if we want to visualize what this means, well then we write out the complete form x such that negative 3 is less than or equal to x which in turn is less than infinity. That's how we write out sets using the set builder notation. Now you may reasonably wonder whether the sets that we earlier wrote using the roster method whether they can be written using the set builder notation too. The answer is yes but we need some qualifiers. So let's check this out. We had earlier written the set of natural numbers between 5 and 9 using the roster method. How do we write it now using the set builder notation? Well to write this set using the set builder notation well that's no problem. I don't need to provide an actual listing. I just need to describe the attributes of the elements. So we say x such that x lies between 5 and 9. So 5 is less than x less than 9. If you are tempted to close the curly bracket here, please stop. Recall we had said in the set builder notation x by default is a real number. This time we need to tell our reader you are not going to include real numbers. You are only going to use natural numbers. How do we indicate that? That's where our qualifier comes in. We need to say here x such that 5 is less than x is less than 9. x is a natural number. Now as we keep doing more problems you will see that there are widely or conventionally ac accepted ways of writing what sets of natural numbers are. You will see there that the capital letter N is used to denote the set of natural numbers. Now let's look at another problem. The set of natural numbers between 5 and 9 inclusive. How do we write this? Well we will say open curly bracket x such that 5 is less than or equal to x which in turn is less than or equal to 9 and this time instead of writing the words x is a natural number I'll just show you the other way of writing this. We have already introduced at this point the notation x is an element of or x belongs to so we'll simply say x belongs to the set of natural numbers. As I just explained the capital letter N is conventionally accepted as the name, if you will, for the set of natural numbers. In the third example, we have the set of whole numbers less than 4. I'm sure you can do that. The set of whole numbers is denoted by the letter capital W, in case you want to write it in this form. I'm going to work out the fourth one, the set of integers between negative 2 and 3. So open curly bracket x such that negative 2 is less than x which is less than 3. The capital letter Z is used to denote the set of integers so x such that x is also contained in Z the set of integers. So an important note for us sets that can be written using the roster method can also be written using the set builder method. However, the set builder method is especially useful for sets that cannot be written using the roster method because the elements are not discrete. In other words, the set builder notation is especially useful for writing sets of numbers that are continuous.